Hi, I'm Katie Bowglaze from South West London TV and today we're here at Women's Head of the River Race which as you can see from behind me is absolutely huge. It's one of the biggest rowing events of the whole year. 321 crews have turned up and each crew has got eight people inside so you can imagine how many people are filling up these boats and these streets around me at the moment. Now this race has taken some of these teams months and months to prepare for. They've turned up to compete in a race that starts here in Putney where I'm standing now and it will finish in Mortlake. That's going to take approximately 19 to 20 minutes for the best cruise. It's about 6.8 kilometers in total and is in fact the same route as the boat race, which is happening in a couple of weeks' time, but in the opposite direction. So I've been standing here and having a quick chat to a couple of the teams that are going to be competing. So this is quite a big race for you then, isn't it? Yeah, it's the big head of the year. So this is the one time we come down on the tideway and compete against all the other universities. How are you hoping to do? Hopefully place better than last year which okay. I think we came 22nd last year. So that sounds pretty good. Mm -hmm. Yeah I think I think hopefully we'll place higher this year. Best of luck with it. Thank you. Durham is one of the top teams competing in today's event and because it's a processional event that means that it's race against the clock rather than a race against each other. So when the teams cross the finish line, they don't yet know how well they've done until they find out their time. So some of the teams are going to be starting a bit later. And one of these teams is called Castle Door. They're quite a small team all the way down from Cornwall that have come up for today's event. They've never raced on the Thames before. So we're going to have a quick chat with them today about how they're feeling for the race. So you guys have quite an unusual story as to how you come to be here before. Do you want to explain a little bit? Well, I can explain why I'm here. Yes. So I made the mistake of agreeing to be the guest speaker at the annual dinner. And they kept refilling my wine glass. And by the end of the evening, I'd agreed to come. So it's, um, it's fantastic because I think it's everybody's first experience on Tidal. So have you competed in an eight before? Once. Once? Yeah, so okay. I've eight three times. Uh, up to now, yeah. and, and this morning. Actually, yeah. And we've managed to borrow an eight from another club. Uh, got them up here, and yeah, it's been a bit different for them coming to London, taking a long, what was it, four and a half, five hour trek up here for everyone. Wow. Hotels last night, and get them on the river, and it's be really interesting to see how they get on, I think. So that was the Castle Door rowing team with Rachel Quarrel, who's in fact an Olympian rower, who's agreed to help out this novice team. Now I'm going to go and talk to the Cox for the Glasgow team. How are you feeling about today's race? I'm good. This is my third tideway. I've done it the past few years. So I'm the novice women's cox. So this is our third year and I'm quite looking forward to it. Because sort of my cox is growing, my crews, this is their first time ever here. Um, some of the girls is actually their first time in London. So it's pretty exciting for them. And yeah, I think we're pretty prepared. I'm quite happy with us. So as you can see from Durham to Castle Door all the way down in Cornwall, a huge variety of clubs have turned out for this event. I hope you enjoyed our short report and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Katie Poglase and you've been watching South West London TV.